Hi, I'm Timothy Brusella, and I wanted to do a couple of word problems for my Math 1325 Business Calculus class involving anti-differentiation. Imports and billions of dollars. Oh, here are the two that I've printed out. I've already done uh, quite a few homework problems, worked out uh, examples in the other two videos over anti-differentiation. I think I've printed out an assignment of like 15 problems. I think we've done most of them. Yeah, I think it was only 14 problems. I think we've done all of them except uh, one or two. We haven't done these two word problems here. Let's look at that, uh, this now. Imports and billions of dollars from country A to country B have changed the rate of g of x equals blah, blah, where x is the number of years since 2000. Company A, company A imported $219.36 billion worth of goods in uh, 2001. So they're giving us the rate of change. Imports have changed at a rate. So that's the derivative. They've given us the uh, derivative of the import function. And they tell us that country A imported $319.36 billion worth of goods in the year 2001. Well, this is the information, uh, those initial conditions. I mentioned that at the end of the last video I did. For word problems involving anti-differentiation, they have to give you something that you can use to find that constant of integration. So here they've given you this information right here, and that's where we'll use that. But for the time being, we want to find the import function. So this is number nine. We want our import function. I'm going to call it capital I. To go backwards, we're going to have to differentiate, anti-differentiate the rate of change function. There's it there. Anti-differentiating that. Using our anti-derivative rules, we're going to get, that'll be a 0.15x add 1 to get a 3 divided by 3 plus a 0.36 add 1 to get x squared divide by 2 then our antiderivative of a number is just that number with that letter there x stuck on it plus my constant c that's what I'm talking about we're gonna have to find that constant of integration at this point this function uh, cleans up pretty nicely 0.15 divided by 3, that's a 0.05 x cubed, plus we have the 0.36 divided by 2, 0.36 divided by 2, that's a 0.18 x squared, and that's an 11.13 x plus c, and I'm trying to find, where did I put the, here it is. Here's the original statement of the problem. Realize x is the number of years since 2000. In the year 2001, what would our x value be? In the year 2001, how many years have passed since 2000? One. So x is one. And our imports are 219.36 billion. So coming down here, we're going to have to let x equal 1 and capital I equal 219.36. Oh, this isn't going to be as bad as I thought. Plug it in 219.36. Plug it in uh, for I. Plug it in 1 for x. 1 to any power is what? 1 to any power is 1, so we just have a 0.05 plus a 0.18 plus an 11.13 plus C. And 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1, uh, uh, plus 0 0.18 is a 0.23 plus a, a 0.13 this isn't working out bad at all. That's going to be an 11.36 
plus C. Subtracting 11.36 from both sides, we're going to get a constant value of 219.36 minus 11.36. Is that a 208? So I now know my function. I know the function. My, here's my import function. I equals 0.05x cubed plus 0.18x squared plus 11.13x plus my constant turned out to be 208. So 208 is what we're going to plug in there for C. So in the statement of my problem here, right there, they're calling it capital G. Since the derivative was lowercase g, they're calling it capital G. I changed the name to I because of I for imports. So we've answered part A there. Here it is. There's the answer to part A. And those students in my class this semester, this is very similar to their number nine, okay? Just different numbers. So make a note. I know that some of y'all have a fear of these word problems. So what I've done here is very similar to y'all's number nine this semester, at least. In the future semesters, it may be your number 10. Who knows? And part B. What was the value of imports from country A in the year 2008? So now they want us to use that uh, import function that we found in part B. It's year 2008. What would X be in that case? Remember, X is the number of years since 2000. How many years have passed since 2000 and 2008? Eight years. So we just plug in, we're just going to go through plugging in an 8, and that's going to give me, dig out your calculator, That has given me a 343.16. Can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It looks pretty, to me, it looks pretty, I think there's a glare on it. But anyway, I'm getting a 334.16. So by, uh, it started off. Uh, in, 2000, well, in 2001, their imports were $219.36 billion, were, and in eight years' uh, time, they were up to $334.16 billion. So that country's uh, increase in the value of their uh, imports, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on which side you're looking at. And Part B. A small Thai company, no, a small Thai shop finds that at a sales level of X ties per day, it's marginal profit. They're giving you the marginal profit. The marginal profit is the derivative. So they're giving you the derivative. Here's the derivative. Also, they know that the shop will lose $75 per day at a sales level of zero. So if they don't sell anything, they're going to have a uh, loss. They're going to uh, have a, a loss of $75. Once again, that condition sounds like it's something I'll use to find my constant of integration. Find the profit from operating the shop at a sales level of X ties per day. So we want the profit function. Maybe I have room to do it right here. We're going to have to anti-differentiate the marginal profit function. Anti-differentiating. And I'll do the anti-differentiation in black. That's going to be a 1.35x plus 0.14 add 1 divide by 2 
minus add one that becomes a three divide by three plus my constant C so there's my profit function and we can clean it up a little bit that's a 1.35 X plus 0.14 divided by 2 that's a 0 0.07 X squared minus 0 0.0012 divided by 3 is that a 0 0.0004 you all checking my mental arithmetic here plus my constant C and once again you don't want to go tell your boss that the profit your profit is going to be ten thousand dollars plus C C could be 40 or C could be a negative 40 million so you got to be able to find that constant of integration look back at this statement they'll lose seventy five dollars a day at a level of zero so when x equals zero what's p they're losing the seventy five dollars so p is negative seventy five so just ignore that little page two that's written there real small so plugging in negative seventy five for p oh and plugging in zero for x 1.35 times 0 is 0 plus 0 0.07 times 0 squared is 0 minus another 0 plus C that gives me a constant ah this works out real nicely what is the C value then C is equal to negative 75 so negative 75 should be the C value so my profit function then is 1.35 X plus 0 0.07 X squared minus 0.1234 X cubed and a minus 75 for my final answer once again, we anti-differentiated the marginal profit function to find the profit function, but it contained that constant of integration. They then had to give us some additional information that we could plug in to find the exact value of C. And my constant of integration turned out to be a negative 75 in this case. So hopefully I've, uh, if you uh, miss my lecture over a uh, in class lecture over antiderivatives or if you're look if you're in an online class hopefully this helps you and I'm going to take a break now get ready for my next class so bye bye